Whoa, what? Holy crap! DC Nation, what's up? We're back with another reaction review of Superman and Lois. And today we're checking out Season 1, Episode 9, titled Loyal Subjects. Now, subjects is spelled S-U-B, you know, normal, J-E-K-T-S. Yeah, a little strange spelling of subjects, which I'm wondering why, but I I'm just excited to get back to the show, guys. This show has been amazing so far. Like, it's just been non-stop good episodes. There's not been one episode this season that I have not liked. Every episode has been from like an 8 out of 10 to like a 10 out of 10. It's been my favorite DC show at the moment. But yeah, guys, enough of this intro. I just want to get right into this. So yeah, your latest reaction to Superman and Lois starts now. On Superman and Lois. Let's just focus on what oh, we Let's go. Family. You and Jordan? Okay, what is Leslie Lar doing? Dang, okay. Working Edge got like that comb over with the uh, picture. He was in and out of Hazel Green and Granville in weeks. Clark's a great reporter. Now that he's not coaching, he can help. Oh! We get all the information. Finally, they're getting Clark into like reporting. Files on everyone Edge has recruited. The fear. Knowing you can't provide for your family that burden, that stress. Mm. With my assistance, all those fears can go away. I can improve your life in every way imaginable. I can improve you. Ah. Uh, this hurt. Ah, uh, no. Not a bit. What? It is going to hurt. Why would she just go let people put her in something like that? I can activate Will be yours again. Do you want to what? your best self, Emily? Mm, no. Oh my. Dude, Morgan Edge is actually he's starting to really kick it up a notch for being a villain. He's very like menacing. So until personality crisis. Really? Yeah, he keeps telling me how he's changed for good and how he feels better. Things improve for a little bit. It's the same crap. Mm. He yeah, Jonathan. Like your brother's about to. What? Let's go, Jonathan. Tegan Wickham. Just trust me, okay? Why? No, chase that ass. Come on. No, Jonathan. Don't listen to Sarah. Like, go after that, bro. To the program. I'm sure she'd be happy to help her old boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I gotta go. Let me know if I can be of help. It was so good to see you, Clark. You too. Take care. Clark, just like interview her. Find out what actually happened to her. Here we go. Let's go, Clark. Nice. Oh, we go to Mexico. Okay. Bro, they're about to get messed up. Nice. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just ran into him. Nice. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Bro, he's bulletproof. You're not going to mess Superman up. What's wrong with... What's wrong with him? Damn! Get back up! Clark! Come on. No way. Really? <laughs> he 
You're wasting bullets. It's not gonna do anything. Mm. Oh, here we go. Take him out. Let's go. Nice. Yeah. Who's this in Carga? Estás bien? Estaré bien. Gracias. Oh. What's wrong with him, though? Like, it wasn't the bullets. He just collapsed from something. I have to say, this story has holes even by your standards. Yo, I'm very curious. Okay, I know this is like a wild theory, but I've been thinking this since like, well, last week or so, but. Is Morgan Edge General Zod? Like, okay, think about it. He's trying to take the people's consciousness and turn them to Kryptonians. Like, sounds like Zod. A little bit. Came off at the chance for a better life, says so right there. We're not publishing this. Hey, looks like you finally figured out that locker. Yeah, Jonathan. I took your advice, you know, nothing good ever comes from anger, so. Let's go, Jonathan. Ask her out. Hey, uh, Tegan. Hey, um, I, I was just wondering if, like, maybe, uh, you wanted to, uh, like, hang out after school sometime? Hang yeah. Out? Like, just the two of us? Yeah, yeah, I mean, not, a date. It doesn't have to be, like, that formal or anything. Just, I don't know, grab a bite at the diner or... Um... Why is she okay, sure hesitant? Look, I, I just, I thought, I don't know, I just thought, like, we were trading looks and... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, you had that... Is, is she taken? I was just trying to be nice. R really? You get pulled that, oh, you're trying to be nice uh, card? I'm trying to hurt your feelings or anything. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's, uh... Bruh. It's all good. It's my bad. She was looking at him. No, no, no. Like you need a new playbook, QB number two. <laughs> you gotta work on closing that deal like you close your locker. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Still, I I don't buy that. She was looking at him like, oh yeah, and then we got a problem. Morgan is just ramping up that program of his. Oh my god, what happened? I went to stop this bank robbery and I got hit. Did they use kryptonite? No, oh, regular bullets. This isn't normal. what Superman doesn't bruise, especially. Yeah, Jordan. I want to be here. She wants it, man. Go. She wants it. See? Oh, jeez. Bruh. My, my God. Oh, my. He was this close. Man. New power. Oh, he's getting like the ice power where you can like freeze stuff. Go, go. You're infected too. Infected? Here, honey. So what's happening? The kryptonite gas that Rosetta used on me at the DOD, it was a bioweapon, and I think it might be communicable. Mm. Like a virus? So I'm I'm getting kryptonite sickness. Yeah. From you. Yeah. Clark, it's not your fault. You didn't even know anything. Was That's a new fault. idea, though. I haven't, I haven't seen well. that before. I'm sorry. I assumed you'd already gone through it. No, I haven't. Mm. And what did he do to you exactly? Uh. Mr. Ash was very clear we not tell anyone. Emily, we've known each other since the fifth grade. You Emily, tell her. Lana, do you have a moment? Oh. Line up, you be careful. I do not trust Leslie Lar. Mm -mm. It seems you've been looking into things that don't concern you. You put me in charge of the young executive program. I should at least know what it's really about. And is this to satisfy your own curiosity or so that you can run and tell Lois Lane? 
The answer you give will impact the rest of your life. Ooh. Like, man, the actor who plays Morgan Edge is, is killing it. No, he's not. Dad, that does not seem fine. Get in your Ray, what is happening, Dan? We can't wait for your dad. Oh. Let me call you back. Yeah, it's too late. Why is Clark leaving? Man, you he looks messed up. We're gonna have to burn the kryptonite out of your system. Oh Learn what? How? How? Oh, is he gonna like he vision him? Some immense heat. No, no. Yeah. This is the only way, okay? We have to do this, otherwise your lungs could completely freeze. Dad, I'm scared. I'm gonna be right here. You're gonna take my hand, okay? Let's go, Clark, go! As hard as you need to, okay? You can do this. Oh! I, I feel so bad for Jordan, though. Super family. Super family. I like that. Hey. Okay. Dad will figure something out. He always does. Hmm. How did everything go with Edge? Oh, amazing. He explained everything to me. It all makes perfect sense. Yeah, well, thank you. Did she turn? Wait, did Lana turn to like Kryptonian? Singing Little Light by Amos Blake. No, 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 no. Where is Jordan? She doesn't. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Okay, that's nice though. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty nice. Man, I don't know how Jordan's gonna come back from this though. <laughs> that's awesome. Just I'd still trust them. And you'd still be a coward. Oh, okay. Chill out, Jonathan. Don't be calling your grandpa a coward. Like, I feel like Sam's gonna go, like, to the dark side. Okay, that's a little exaggerated, but he's gonna be different after this whole episode. Oh, where is she going? Uh... That's gonna mess with her daughter's head, though. Yeah. You want me to go see what's wrong? Wait, Kyle. Okay, so Lana's good, though. Still... She didn't get that, like, alert. He's still weak. The exact reason why I just activated some of our subjects. To take down Superman? Not him. The one he protects. Oh, Lois. Hey, Mom, I think it's for you. Lois, I'm worried. Oh, no, Lois, run. They're, they're about to kill her. Jonathan, you gotta get her out of there. Run, run. Oh. Oh. This isn't you. Not anymore. That's what I'm talking about. Sam coming in clutch. Keep hitting this till he comes. That's all we can do. No, 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 no. We need to go to the mine. Nice, Sam. Take him out. Oh, watch out! She's coming! Oh. 
targets first. So that's what kryptonite feels like, huh? Go, go. Here, give me the gun. Shoot. Whoa. Nice. That, that was pretty dope. Pretty good with that thing. Whoa, what? Holy crap. I'm not just gonna kill you, Lois. He wanted you to suffer first. He has powers? Take him out. Let's go, Superman. That's a twist. I did not expect that. They're gone. Ah, that, that's it? I was hoping for a little more, but alright. Ah, Leslie. They keep playing the same thing. How can I help you? Mm. I'm gonna be my best self. It's not Smallville that needs to build his army. It's the people. Ah, Superman, go. What? It's your ELT. Wait, ELT? Edge. Oh. I was like, yeah, let's see, what is it? Whoa! That, okay, that's cool. Those shots, dang. Okay, okay. Everything you're doing is gonna stop. That's exactly what my friend Lois Lane keeps saying to me. Bro! You can't make that happen any more than she can. What? I, I was right. Is he Zod? Nice. Did you really think I'd be giving people powers without having them myself? You see, I got mine the same time you did, Kalel. When I arrived on this planet. When you arrived? Inside. I think it's time you learned the truth about who I am and where I'm really from. Holy crap! Brother? What? What? Okay, my hair's messed up, but... <laughs> what? Wait, so is it Zod, or...? Okay, it looks like Zod. I'm, I'm thinking it's Zod, but he said brother, which I'm... Well, that's what Kryptonians say. They'd be like, brother, what's up, brother? Like, that's just a thing they say, but... I did not think they were gonna go that. Okay, I had theory, and guys, I ran out of time to make that video, but I remember putting out polls like which one you guys want: Red X, um, Z Morgan Edge, Zod, or uh, I think it's Batman, Catwoman. And I did the other videos, but I ran out of time on this video, so I was like, oh, I'll save it for the next Superman Lowe's video. But dang, they they really went there. They really made a Morgan Edge. Oh, we know he's a Kryptonian. I'm not. It's not entirely sure if he's Zod yet. He didn't say I am General Zod or Neil before Zod. Nothing like that. But wow, wow, this show is freaking awesome. That was your reaction. Let's get to the review. And that was your latest reaction to Superman Lois, guys. And wow. All right, all right. This episode was. Phenomenal. Like, really well done, guys. Like, okay, the writing in the show, we already know, really good. Like, do I need, do I need to talk about that? Like, the writing is just so good. And then the CGI, like, the, actually, like, the effects and stuff. Like, that ending, to me, like, movie level. I know there's gonna be people, like, yeah, they're still behind, like, they're still, you know, in front of, like, a green screen. But I think it looked pretty cool. I thought it looked pretty dope. And then also, throughout the episode, the fight sequences, especially the one where Superman goes to Mexico, and all, like, the, I think they're robbers, just, like, shot at him. They're like, boom, 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 boom. And Superman's just like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, then he fell. Yeah, they fell, but there's a whole, like, plot line behind that. But, like, we got so many plot lines in this episode. And, like, two twists. 
one twist that was like, all right, pretty good. Like, you know, uh, Mr. Cushing or uh, Kyle. I don't know why I call him Mr. Cushing. Well, that's what Jordan and Jonathan call him. But Kyle, I think it's Kyle. I think that's his name. Turns out he took the offer from Morgan Edge and became like Kryptonian in a way. Like that was actually a good twist. Like it caught me off guard. I was like, all right, that's pretty cool. Like by the end of the episode, I was like, that's pretty dope. Like, all right, yeah, yeah. Like uh, he eventually tried to kill Lois. I was like, no way. The, he's actually gonna try to kill Lois. Then as more things starts to unfold like okay guys i'm getting ahead of myself throughout this episode we had different plot lines last episode we saw sam lane um he made like this uh toxin that can affect superman it's like kryptonite and it affects him a lot like it, it messes him up but we saw this one guy rosetta who was pretty much got that kryptonian power from morgan edge and fought off against Superman and him with that uh, Kryptonian like gas, right? The toxin. Now, in this episode, we find out, and I thought this was actually really cool, guys. Really interesting. I haven't really seen this in the comics. I felt like it's actually really new, so kudos on uh, the writer's part. But we find out that that gas is still affecting Superman, and the bolts that get shot Superman in Mexico actually affect him. But that's pretty much like the worst of his condition. But we find out that it's just like a virus. So since he has the AFX Jordan, I was about to say Jonathan, Jordan, because he's Kryptonian, right? He has like those powers. It affects him and he gets like really sick. He almost like dies. He like has like freeze breath and stuff. But then we have like this great interaction, these great scenes between uh, Clark, Superman, and his son and like the Fortress of Solitude where Superman's just like sapping him and he's like saving his son. And then we see Tyler Hecklin just like kill the role. Like he does such a great job. Like that scene when he's like, this is my fault, like, I, I, I gave you those powers, um, and you didn't really need them, like, now you have to deal with what I deal with, and Jordan's like, oh, it's all good, Dad, and they, like, hug it out, very emotional, very well done scene, but other than that plot line, uh, we had, like, uh, what's her name, Sarah, she had, like, her musical thing, pretty nice, and Jordan missed it, uh, we'll see where that goes, she's not really happy with him, so he's not, he's not getting it, another guy who's not getting in the show is, uh, Jonathan, which, I don't get that. There was, like, a little subplot in the beginning of the episode where Jonathan went up to, like, the one girl. I'm like, ah, oh, Jonathan's gonna steal a deal. He's gonna, he's gonna get some. But she, like, totally rejected him. She's like, oh, I saw you alone. You broke your arm. You look pretty sad. So I was acting nice to you. I'm like, what? That's, like, the worst excuse ever. You were giving him, like, the eyes. Like, the... I, I like you guys. Like, that, those type of eyes. Like, that's what she was giving Jonathan. And Jonathan being any guy, like, you know, she walked up and asked her. Like, he was a little awkward about it, but he's still pretty good about it. And, yeah, I wasn't happy about that. I was like, come on, Jonathan. Jonathan needs to steal at least some deal this season. But we had him and Jordan not do that good with the relationship uh, of life and stuff. But then we also got another plot line. Lois and Lana investigating in Morgan Edge. And we find out that Morgan Edge, she's giving these offers to all these people and then turning them into Kryptonians. Once we got to that point, when they revealed that, like, midway through the episode, I'm like, mm, my General Zod theory is coming together. Because, guys, I was going to make a theory video about this. Uh, I was going to make that. We didn't make a poll, but instead I made, like, the Red X theory video, which I really enjoyed making that. But I kind of wish I did this one, too, because, like, I would have been so right. I was all, all talking about how, okay, so... We have Morgan Edge doing this whole thing with all these different um, people, turning them to Kryptonians. And we remember General Zod, he knew that Krypton exploded and he tried to get his people back. So what better way than turning the people of Earth into Kryptonians? Like, that's the best way to do that. Like, that's, I can see him doing that. Also, the actor of Morgan Edge is so menacing. He kills in this episode. He does such a great job. Like, at the beginning of the episode, the opening monologue that Morgan Edge does, I'm like, I can see this guy being General Zod. Like, how menacing, and he's just so captivating. Like, he really owns the screen. Also, the actor, his facial hair and how he looks, especially, like, the image where he had, like, the comb over, I'm like, hmm. He, he really looked like General Zod the more this show goes on. And we find out at the end of the episode, like, the big reveal. Big reveal. We see that Superman, after the whole thing was... Oh, uh, actually, before I get to that, one more thing. Sam and Lois have problems. They resolve their issues, and I thought that was nice. I wanted to mention that real quick before I totally forget. Because I feel like I'll forget about that. Um, anything else before we get to the big reveal? 
I gotta think real quick. Okay, we had Lana, we had Kyle, we had uh, Lois, she had her stuff. She had her thing in like the uh, Gazette, I think. Yeah, it's called like the Smallville Gazette. No, that's the Gotham Gazette. Smallville Reporting Place, all right? That's what we're calling it. But we had all that going on. You know, we had cool Mexico fights, and yeah, I think that's it. So at the end, we find out, Superman gets a call. He goes to this really nice area, guys, with all these, like, rock mountains. I'm like, shit's about to get real. Like, I knew once we got there, I'm like, ooh, it's about to get good. So we have, he makes it there, right? And then we see Morgan Edge, and I'm like, it's coming to get And you guys, you guys saw my reaction. I was, like, so excited about that. And it makes sense. At the beginning of the season, I was like, okay, Morgan Edge... Like, he's good, he's good for Lois' plot, but will he develop into something more than that? And now we're seeing he's actually doing that. And what I find actually cool, really cool about this is that, okay, he was a villain this season, and then Captain Luthor, the stranger was, they developed Captain Luthor's whole story, made him really awesome. We found out that he was John Henry Irons. Awesome reveal, really good. And they left last episode, and I was kind of like, oh, so they're taking a pause in that story, will the show get kind of just okay now? Like, will it not be as amazing as the past three episodes? Nope. We got through John Henry Irons, she thought that was cool, but that was like the appetizer. Let's get to the, the big meal, guys. We're getting to the big stuff, like the cool stuff. We're getting to General Zod. We're getting to what's going on Morgan Edge. And I thought that was really cool. Like, it made this whole season shows why you need good writers in the show. You got great CGI. You got great actors. By the way, Lois, Bitsy Tall, like, did an amazing job again with her performance. Also, all the kids, like, all the actors and actresses did really good job this week. But you can have all that stuff, but you don't have great writing, then the show would just be solid. But in this case, they got, like, really good writers in the show. Like, the show started out all right, but now it's like, well, no, it actually started out great. The first episode of the season was really good, but as the show's gone on, it's, it's really developed into, like, my favorite DC show in years. Like, it's just so well done, so well written, and yeah, all right, get into that reveal. Morgan S, they're about to fight off, and then... He's talking, and then we already do that Morgan Edge, which I'm pretty sure that's not his name. Well, he does say that, okay, you think I would um, make all these people Kryptonians but not make myself? So for a second, I was like, oh, so is it not General Zod? Is he just another guy that got these Kryptonian powers, but he knows how to master them more? But then I looked at his suit, and I'm like, it's fully black. It looks like a Zod logo. I'm like, this has to be Zod. And then he says... I came to Earth at the same time as you. I'm like, ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we're getting closer. But then it ends with him flying up, by the way, really cool sequence, like really cool shot of him looking down at Superman, and then it goes to like the Superman Lois uh, logo, ends on a really cool cliffhanger, but he says brother, all right? Brother. Now, you could take this two ways. One, it's actually Superman's brother, like he had a lost brother that he never knew about. Uh, I don't know about that. Maybe I'm not looking into it. Um, I'm not thinking of any brother that Superman has right now. I don't remember Superman having a brother. Like, a big brother. Like, a brother that we'd be like, oh yeah, Superman has a brother that's evil. No, I don't, I can't think of that. So, maybe I'm missing something. You guys tell me down below. But I'm pretty sure that that's just a Zod. Like, he's like, okay, Kryptonians, they're all brothers in a society. And they're all together. Since they're like the last people of their whole, like, planets... They'll be like, hey, what's up, brother? Like, hey, what's up, guy? Like, it'd it just be like that. That's what I'm thinking. But I really hope it's not, like, a, like a Superman lost brother thing. Because I, I just don't like that. Also, I, I hope it's not, like, another Kryptonian. Like, it has to be Zod. I really hope it's Zod. All I want to see is this actor who plays Morgan Edge, or more like General Zod now, to go up to Superman, and beat him up, and then be like, kneel before Zod. I, I want to see that. Like, that just could be so dope. And what makes this even better was many years back when I, I was watching Supergirl, right? And I remember the season two finale, and everybody was like, General Zod is coming, General Zod. I'm like, what? what? General, General Zod, he's coming? Like, no way, no way. And then we saw him on set, and then the finale, all we got was that Superman got hit with, like, the silver kryptonite that he saw visions, and we got, like, one shot of Zod. I, I, I remember being just so disappointed, but at the same time, though, uh, 
thinking about that, so that means that Superman bought General Zod before, so how could this be General Zod again? But at the same time, this whole show has really just neglected Airverse continuity. Like, it does not feel like it's in the Airverse anymore. It feels like its own show, which is good and bad. It's good because it's a much better show because of that, but it's also bad because how's that gonna work in crossovers? And it's gonna be kind of weird to be compared to like other continuity, like the season two finale of Supergirl, but still, it's cool to see General Zod make his debuts. I'm pretty sure this is. It's not confirmed yet, but come on. It, it has to be him. How can it not be General Zod? Like, who else would it be? You guys tell me down below. Tell me your theories. Who you think that big villain at the end was? Do you think it was General Zod, just like me? Or do you think it's actually a brother Superman? Another Kryptonian? I'm just not a Kryptonian at all. Like, maybe you have a really wild guess. I know some of you guys are like, Brainiac. But I don't think it is now. Like, I saw it last week. I looked at your guys' comments. I'm like, I think it could be Brainiac, but I barely doubt it. But now, we know it's not Brainiac. But still, guys, that reveal was awesome. I'm so excited to see next week's episode. Like, this show is just so good. Like, it's just so good. If you, if you, okay. Get your friends to watch the show. Get this show so many views so then CW's like, all right, we gotta move it to HBO Max so then it gets a bigger budget and then we get even better season two. I don't know how you're gonna top this season. Like, this season's been really good. But who knows, who knows? The writers, if you keep the writers this season for next season, it's it only gonna get better. And guys, the rest of the season, we're now getting to the war that John Henry Irons was talking about. So we know it's gonna get better from here. It's gonna be a banger episode after banger episode, like just fire episodes from here on out. And I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I'm gonna give this episode, guys, a 9.5 out of 10. I still like the John Henry Irons episode a little better, just a little better. But like, this episode was just so good. Really good. One of the best episodes of the season so far. And yeah, guys, tell me your thoughts and stuff. So down below, if you like the video, give a big thumbs up. New channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Superman and Lois reaction and review. And yeah, oh well. I just looked at the time. It's like a 14-minute review that I'm about to edit. So, ooh, I just went off. <laughs> you know it's a good episode when I'm talking for a while, all right? Like, I, I'm just so hyped about this, guys. But, yeah, thanks for watching, and peace out.